tous les sons interdits J'entends tout ce qu'il faut Les vrais, les faux et les non-dits Je suis une fille Et je plante mes talons Et puis en plein dans ton mille For the infamous line drum roll please <laughs> welcome to my youtube channel okay first of all i'm nervous second of all i have to warn you all i have the most awkward personality ever okay in fact i've got the weirdest personality i've ever encountered and those who know me know but anyway it's time for you guys to get to know me more and hence today's episode of get to know me on catching up with kk thank you so much for everybody who's been subscribing um if you haven't subscribed already please 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 subscribe to my channel okay let's grow the family let's get straight to it i don't want the video to be too long nice and short as how i like to keep it and the first question okay Whoa, okay. <laughs> I sort of knew that most of the questions would be about me being a mom. For those who don't know, I'm a mom now. Yes, I'm a beautiful, beautiful angel. And let me get to answering the question. How has it changed my life plans? So I don't actually think being a mom has changed any of my life plans. Like at all. Well, not the long-term life plans that has at all um i'm still doing everything that i wanted to do i'm only four months postpartum now so it really hasn't been that long do you know what i mean but behind the scenes the wheels are still rolling toward my goals in general so i don't think it's changed my life plans at all do i see life a tad bit different absolutely for instance i'm scared of death now <laughs> and prior to me being a mom i was not afraid of death at all like any day was tea time and i was always ready <laughs> in a non suicidal way of course. but yeah now dude now now i've got a whole human being who you know relies on me so that has definitely changed my perception of life and the value of it so i am so grateful to my baby for that so yes did i answer the question how am oh how am i adjusting the last part of the question i think at the moment i'm adjusting quite well in the beginning it was so hard oh my god and if you follow me on social media instagram in particular um in the beginning i did speak a lot about postpartum depression and i think i shared a lot there about everything that i've been going through but i don't want to get into that right now if you guys want me to talk on that there's you know more time i can make another video for that but it's not about that today so yes for now i'm adjusting quite well and it has not changed my life plans my plans are still the same my goals are still intact and yes as i said the wheels are rolling behind the scenes towards my goals oh my goodness you see the thing about me is that i am not attached to places well for now listen i change my mind about things every day but for now i am not attached to a particular location or anything right now at the moment i live in um glasgow scotland and it's all right do you know what i mean um but i i don't mind living anywhere in the world as long as that place for me has opportunities for me to succeed as long as it will be a conducive environment for my son obviously i've got him to think of right now um and as long as i'll be happy because you know my happiness does come first so any place where i'm unhappy i have to go okay but i'm not attached to any place at all to be honest my biggest fear i think i mentioned it in the beginning of the video is death <laughs> right now my biggest fear is death because of my baby um that is my biggest fear definitely oh my god that is high key my biggest fear um 
what would you change about yourself if you could what would i change about me is damn <laughs> i mean it's not to say i think i'm perfect or anything but <laughs> okay 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 let me be serious what would i change about myself i think um i tend to be very stubborn like i tend to be very very stubborn so that's probably something i could change if i could i tend to be very stubborn oh yes i i i would definitely change that um because i feel like me being stubborn changes the way i get to interact with a lot of people so yeah i can definitely <sighs> it's not easy to make me angry like it's not in the beginning in the past rather it used to be but now it really isn't easy making me angry like people try me almost every day like but now the difference is now i share a space with a baby who literally gets to absorb if i can say that my energy so if i'm going to come back home with negative energy and i'm just so angry and i'm just so ugh, aggro all the time my baby's gonna absorb that energy and i don't want that so people try me every almost every day but i keep it moving like oh, okay you're doing that to me okay and i keep it moving literally um so yeah but what could make me angry besides this keep it moving attitude of mine i think deception is the biggest thing i hate deception like oh my god don't try to deceive me in any way like i'm the most understanding person so if you just talk to me about certain things i will probably get it if i don't i'll let you know or we could talk it through whatever but just man don't be a liar because why what was the reason why must you lie it's annoying so yeah okay let's take a break because i think i can hear my son crying so let's take a break okay so let's wrap it up um who do you have a crush on right so i have a number of crushes yeah so none of them are celebrities i'm not really into celebrities um okay so number one is this random guy on twitter okay i recently retweeted one of his videos okay so my baby's cooing in the background i hope you can still hear me regardless so yeah i have a crush on him but i forgot his name he's just this weird guy who was some weird videos like top of the morning to you and yours folks you know so i have a crush on him whoever your name is i have a crush on you i have a crush on um the rugby player south african rugby player um his cousin oh my god i forgot his name oh my god why can't i remember people's names okay he's the only celebrity that i have a crush on that cousin rugby player oh my god he is like mm, honey <laughs> like hello i have a crush on okay i have a crush on boise yeah yeah I have a crush on Boise. I have a crush on Reg. And that is it. <laughs> that is as far as my crushes go. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I hope the Costa rugby player watches this. Because the other rest of the people I mentioned are like all married or in relationships. No disrespect to your wives and girlfriends. Please don't come for me or attack me. It's just a crush. <laughs> an innocent one at that okay i will never approach your man <laughs> it's just a crush and i had to answer truthfully so don't persecute me for it anyway um that's a wrap okay that's a wrap um that's as far as i'm going to ah, I have one more crush wait a minute <laughs> wait all up <laughs> wait we can't end it yet I just remembered another crush like girl how do you miss him i have a crush on my friend sam like i have this guy friend sam i absolutely have a crush on him okay he's probably watching this now he knows listen as i said all of these are really innocent crushes so your girlfriends and wives better stay away from my dms do not come to me as a woman i will never approach your men okay 
Okay. So yeah, Sam, my friend, there's only one. You'll know yourself. I definitely have a crush on you. And yeah. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you watched until this far, thank you so much. If you're patient with me through the baby cooing and crying and me having to carry him and everything else that happened during this very awkward video, thank you so much. I do appreciate you. If you have subscribed, thank you once again. Um, if you haven't, please do subscribe. As I said, I want to grow this family. I would really, really love to grow the family. Um, and yeah, tell me what you think of the video. Please put your comments in the comment section. And girlfriends and wives of the people I mentioned, do not come for me. I don't even know. The only person that I know personally from that list of people that I mentioned is Sam. Because he's my friend. Everybody else, I do not know them from above. So, okay. So, let's <laughs> come Yeah. <sighs>